Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me drawing. Today we're using Conti crayons and I'm using some uh, violet coloured paper. I think it's violet. <laughs> Had a funny name, but it looks like violet. And, um, and I'm going to have a go at doing some sky because I need to do some sky drawings for uh, a course that I'm doing for a degree. And uh, I thought, well, might as well film myself doing it so you can see, watch me learning. <laughs> and maybe you'll get the artist bug as well and get your paints out or Conti cranes out or pastels or whatever you like to use. And maybe it'll get you interested. Maybe you just. Uh, enjoy watching someone drawing. Um, I, I'm always watching other people on YouTube and elsewhere to see how good they are. <laughs> see if I can get some tips. Um, I'm always getting tips of other people. That's what you want to be doing though, isn't it? That's something I learned recently. Um, I was getting frustrated, I was using some pastels, um, pastel pencils, the Derwent ones, and uh, when I was sharpening them they kept breaking, <laughs> and I was getting so frustrated, and then I found out you're supposed to use a pastel pencil sharpener. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm using uh, Conti cranes, they're, uh, I've used them before. Uh, I enjoy them actually. They're pastels, hard pastels. They're quite good fun. I like I like the way they blend like this. You can use them on the side, of course, to fill in larger areas. I'm just using my finger to blend it. Just, I'm using a, a picture that I took yesterday. It was just before it was snowing <laughs> and uh, the sky was full of clouds. And uh, it looked fantastic, so I was like, well, it'd be a good time for me to get some good sky studies. It was pretty cold, so I didn't want to do any uh, any outside. <laughs> it was just a bit too cold for that. Uh, there's a little gap. Uh, some light poking through there. Use my finger to blend. I can add a bit more white where I want to. Soften it. Bring it together. I'm sort of going on the outside edge. It's a bit like when I'm doing a uh, clouds when I'm doing painting on the outside edge. That edge between the uh, light and dark, I mix it up there. It's not the outside edge really, is it? <laughs> it's the uh, edge between the dark and the light. <laughs> right, let's um, use a little bit of dark colour. It's quite dark in there, um, maybe this dark blue. It's just broken bit of blue. <laughs> bit in there. Bit in there. Just blend that into the grey. And then uh, 
give it a bit of black as well. And it's a little bit dark. I'm trying to be a bit more sparse with the black because I don't want to get too dark. to uh, not get my my contrast which is needed <laughs> So we're sort of um, layering colour, layering it, dark and light, trying to create what I've got as my picture, <laughs> my reference picture, and we'll use that, and we'll try and get as close as we can to it. Just wiping my finger on uh, a wipe. <laughs> just wiping it to get it clean so when you blend in the light you don't have a dirty finger <laughs> I've done that many a time but I've forgotten and I've just gone straight in with my uh, brown <laughs> oh, yeah that did actually happen I was blending a tree trunk and I had a brown finger <laughs> That sounds horrendous. Anyway, let's move on. I don't know. Some of the things I find funny. <laughs> I'm sure the people don't. Anyway. Just getting these wisps of white there. It's like little wisps of clouds. And I'm just sort of drawing them in. And then uh, just soften them like so. This is our sky colour, this purple. It does look uh, pretty close to the sky colour. And, and what I like about using coloured paper, tinted paper, is you can use white when you're using just uh, plain old white paper. <laughs> You've got your, uh, you've just got to use tone and kind of leave the white. But I like, I like having the white. I think it looks better. And uh, when I tend to do other things, I always use tinted paper now just to see what effects I can create. <laughs> yes, it's a, uh, if you were scared of a blank sheet of white paper, certainly gets rid of it quick by not getting <laughs> white paper, using coloured paper straight away. But of course you could use blue paper and that'll uh, that could get things going quickly as well. Use a blue sky. I just fancied this colour today. It's actually uh, printer paper this is for doing your fancy letters <laughs> yeah, this is a little lighter than that so I won't don't want to put too much dark in there's sort of a gap where you can see light so I want to create that yeah like that and then down like that. There's a bit here that's quite dark. Create that. Right, I'm just having a look, looking back, looking at what I've got. There's a few little bits there over that white. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. We can uh, bring the smart light out again. Just wipe my finger. <laughs> Clean it up again. It's a bit like cleaning your brushes all the time. <laughs> if you keep uh, your brushes clean and then uh, you don't muddy your colours. Same with your finger. Just very softly going over that. Yeah. And it's, um, so it goes like that. Yeah, this is, a, like I said, this is a, uh, a sky study. I have to do it for um, uni. Practicing different materials. Trying to uh, develop myself as an artist. Trying to improve all the time. Blue there. I'm trying to uh, give myself more options. So if I'm out and I see a picture that I really want to do and I don't want to lug paints out or maybe I don't want to use paints at all and I want to use something else then it's good to learn other materials. Sometimes the effect you want to create works better with something else. So it's a good idea to learn other things. And as you know, if you watched a few of my episodes, I started out using Bob Ross oils and that's all I would use. And then eventually you get more confident in yourself. You start wanting to do something else as well. Give yourself more options. And, uh, exactly what I was trying to do. Give myself more more chances to do drawings and paintings and using all sorts of different materials. Got this cloud in there. Just using the uh, the crane flat. Using it flat. And spinning it. Nicely uh, softening it. Okay, where else have we got some dark there's just some dark around here. On too much down there because it is quite just a little hint of colour down here where the clouds go off. Like I said, I'm just giving it a hint of colour there. Right, let's have a look at this area now in here. It's sort of quite a White bits, kind of, sort of like little wispy feelers on the top. It's very light to go over that. Don't want to completely get rid of the movement on the top of that cloud, so it's sort of a very light, misty bit. So very, very light pressure. That's what I'm trying to say, <laughs> light pressure. Um, 
then you don't get rid of all your action if you want if you want to keep it and uh, just very lightly go over it. I kind of want to mist that up. I'm trying trying to create like a separation between that white area and this dark area. I'll do some more of that white over the top. Get all these little wispy things coming out. Yeah, it's more like it, and uh, a bit goes there as well. Slightly go on that. And there's some there. A bit here. Mm. Very lightly. Yeah, just getting a bit warm now. <laughs> it's uh, snowing outside, and uh, I've come inside. I've got my heater on, nice and warm. Okay, slightly, slightly messed that up. Okay, where else have we got some some light sort of comes off there? There's all sorts of little wispy things coming down here. And this comes across like that. Got a nice uh, <laughs> silver line in this cloud as. They say every cloud has a uh, silver lining, but I haven't seen all of the clouds. Every cloud doesn't, <laughs> not from what I've seen. Some clouds are dark as anything. No lining at all. <laughs> it's amazing how many things you see in the clouds as well when you're looking. You can see like animals and I saw like a bit of a dragon in the cloud when I was looking the other day. And when you see stuff like that, think about adding it into your uh, picture because you've seen it, you know it's there, you know it's, that, that shape could happen in the clouds, why not add it into a drawing or a painting that you're doing? <coughs> Be creative. Use nature as a guide and then have fun. Have fun being creative. Just adding some dark bits where I can see it. And uh, here. checking back to see if there's anything you have gotten. Oops, try not to drop your uh, cranes because <laughs> they tend to shatter. <laughs> that one's all right though, it survived. Okay, let's look at this bit here. There's some more light clouds. So it goes like this and then like that. You know, I was saying about adding things into your picture. This almost looks like a mouth here. If I exaggerate it, it kind of looks like it could be a dragon. Dragon's mouth there. Could 
be. <laughs> There's the eye, but actually it was a cloud. <laughs> like I say, was, I could see like a, a dragon shape in a cloud. Mm, just put it in. That's what you've seen. Blue in there. Tiny bit of dark there. Okay. <coughs> now let's have a look. It's white there. Need to uh, wipe the finger again. Okay, now we're uh, looking at these. There's quite a lot of little clouds along here. They're sort of <laughs> almost like they're a lot of clouds holding hands <laughs> all along the way. Like to go over those. Just mess them up a bit. Okay. Now this is a bit lighter here. It's actually some actual light beams there. Let's see if I can create something to show that it's light there. see it's lighter there than everywhere else and there's sort of a big beam that goes there and sort of behind so look yeah that sort of gives it a little bit of a hint that there's light pushing off there Yeah, I'm looking, there's sort of areas a bit more, a bit more to them. Blue in there. Just looking at the little details in within the cloud. Where the white and the grey are sort of mixing. So just lightly just putting in little circular strokes. Yeah, that looks better. And there. It's quite dark there. And that'll help with our contrast of light and dark. There's an actual blue there as well. Yeah. And here. Okay. I need to break that up. Sort of broken up. Now well, let's uh, sit back, have a look. Um, what areas do we need more of? More developing. Some of these clouds have got grey areas in them. Try and get rid of that line. <laughs> that I can see. Just uh, put them in. <coughs> Some light bits.
so they're not all light bits. I'm just sort of poking those bits in there. I don't want to do too much detail down here. I've got to put a uh, bit of tree in there. Yeah, that's looking, uh, looking pretty good. Just get some of this light in here because of the bit that comes off there. It goes around and the bit that comes down. Uh, and it connects. Almost got a bunny rabbit in there, look. <laughs> All sorts of shapes. I hope you're enjoying this episode. This is a bit um, different to my others, really. This is just one subject. It's not um, not too serious. Well, never is really, is it? It's art. <laughs> I don't take my art too seriously, anyway. Just enjoy it. I see it as a fun. It's fun to do. Uh, we've got this tree here, and then we've got a, uh, a rooftop there. This is quite dark because of the the light of the sky. Just, just doing it the way the camera took it, really. <laughs> so the rooftop there. thing then. <laughs> okay, and this tree, it sort of finishes there. It's got a little it It's coming off it. Whoops, dropped it again. <laughs> See like a little post there. There's a bit of a tree. Might be too serious for those trees. You can just sort of see if you even use your finger to put in some at the bottom but that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to do. I wanted to get the effect of the sky which is the uh, important part to get a, um, a sky with contrast and then the uh, the rooftops and things I mean it doesn't really matter too much about those top so just to show that the uh, 
where the horizon is and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode it shows you a little bit about Conti cranes what you can do with them I mean this is quite a uh, a fun little one for you if you wanted to start with Contis Conti cranes and you wanted to give my dragon a horn <laughs> to get yourself a set and you want to do something that's fairly easy to get used to them then something like this is perfect anyway thank you very much for watching this one I uh, hope you give it a go and uh, I'll see you in another one where I'll try out something else cheers bye